this is this list divided by 0.2435 is what goes here and then i i take this scale factor multiply the first row and subtract from the second row remember it has a whole row so you have to do lot of calculations here not just one little thing you have to do for the whole matrix when you do that you will see that all the numbers will change notice these numbers have also changed but the most important thing is i got rid of the first the elements in the first row they all became zero now what am i going to do i am going to focus my attention entirely on this piece okay and i am going to get rid of these three guys i'm sorry these two guys what am i going to do i am going to do like this or 2 equals or 2 my sorry or 3 equals or 3 minus 0.1124 divided by 0.3421 times r2 i don't want to touch r1 so i'm not going to start with r1 r4 will be r4 minus uh, 0.1490 divided by 0.2511 times r times r r2 this is what i'm going to do when you do that i will get rid of this one and this one and make them zero you see what i am doing right i am slowly converting each each of these elements to zero so when i do that i will get second round so here is my starting i am going to do the row reduction so what i am going to do is here is the scale factor and this one just says r uh, row row equals row minus um, second row times scale factor when you do that i am going to keep the scale factors these two numbers i got by taking these two numbers and divided by minus 0.3421 if you take those two numbers divided by 0.3421 you will get these two and the matrix a itself now has notice i'm slowly look at how many zeros i got if i'm able to convert this also then i am done so what do i do now i don't want to mess with this row i don't want to mess with this row i don't want to mess with this row i only want to mess with this row so what am i going to do i'm going to do row 4 equals row 4 minus row 3 times scale factor is Minus zero point eight seven nine three divided by minus one point four nine four one. That's my scale factor, and that I'm going to store here. So remember, it's a whole row operation. You have to do for every term in the row, and the scale factor is always this number. If you do that, you will get the next one. Here is the. We start out with this. here is my scale and here is my change in row and the the lower triangular matrix this number is this divided by minus 1.494 when you do that you will get a nice upper triangular matrix can you see all the numbers below the diagonal are zero and look at this one this is a lower triangular matrix all the numbers above them are zero and the beauty is l times u will give you the original matrix a you can check it out okay by the way i went through this very fast because youtube only allows me 10 minutes or whatever the correct way for you to do this is stop at each slide and you do the calculation and compare otherwise nothing will work okay so now that you have this l l times u what can you do now we are ready to solve the linear equation here is my original equation i am going to write this is l this is u times x equals b the nice thing is this looks messier than before 
but I have two nice, very nice user friendly matrices. What I am going to do is call this a dummy variable y. So then I am going to solve L times y1, y2, y3, y4 equals 7, 1, 3, 5. That we can do, right? This L matrix is here. Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4 is 7135. So let's solve that first. That's called forward substitution. Here is our matrix equation. So what do I do? I get immediately Y1 is 7. Then I get Y2 is 1 minus 3.8159 Y1. Um, so that is what that is. And that gives me minus 25.73. Y3 is 3 minus 1.4372 times Y1 minus, uh, sorry, plus. 0.3287 times y2. So if I do that, I'll get that. Y, y4 I got. So I got the y's. So what did that get me? I can do the next level, which is solve for x. Now this is the y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay. So again, this time I have to go here. I solve for x4 then go up, solve for x3, then go up, solve for x2, then go up, solve for x1. This is, that's why it's called backward substitution. And when you do that, you will get first solve for x4, then x3, then x2, then x1. Try it, you will see how it works, okay? So I hope you got this idea. The main thing is, please remember, whenever you are doing the row reduction, you have to do for the whole row, okay? With that, we are done.